It's time for your favorite unboxing channel. What's up? How you doing? I got a box. How do, how do you unbox something? Here we go. So our suspicions of it being a guitar were correct because it's a guitar case. Point this boy down. All right. I think it says right here <laughs> what it might be. You guys will experience it while I do. Shh! I'm literally opening the box, and you're you're interrupting me opening the box. Look at that boy. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's a very pretty guitar. Oh my god. It's just like so shiny. I don't want to touch it. I just, you know, like I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just, uh, just pull that bitch out and make it sing. All right. <laughs> out of the side. <laughs> oh, can you send me another one, please? So what's really nice about when they send you Majesties is they have the little uh, strap things and oops, put some like styrofoam on it so it doesn't like scratch up the uh, and then when you open them. The body. And then when you open them, take them off, they just slap right into the guitar. So it's just like, ha ha. Oh, oh geez. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. Look at that. So this. This is a tag, we don't need this. I don't, I need the, uh... Okay, here's the, here's the strap. No, use your other one, use the... What? Use the one that you sent you in the big box. The one I, it doesn't have the, these things. Yeah. Silly. God, girls, right? I'm just saying that strap would look nice with that guitar. You'd look nice with this guitar. No, it's too big for me. Yeah, you're right. The whammy bar on this is pretty interesting because you kind of just like pop it in. It's a little spooky and then it's in for good, never comes out. But the cases actually have like a little crevasse on the inside to, I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna turn off auto focus cause this looks dumb. Here it is. So this guitar right here, this is the 2019 Tiger Eye Ernie Ball John Petrucci Majesty. Right off the bat, I think the um, the whammy bar is a little bit closer to the. I can't even talk. I'm like kind of. I'm. I'm just. I'm still kind of like. <laughs> I'm still kind of trying to process like another majesty. <laughs> it's close to the body of the guitar. That's what I was gonna say. I know a little bit about this guitar, um, and I wanna. Let's just play. Let's just play it. See how it sounds. Ooh, I have. I have a John Petrucci tone actually. Yeah, I, my dad's John Petrucci. No big deal. I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use my big beefy prodigy. I'm gonna I'm gonna tune it up. Actually, I think it got a little, little wee bit, wee bit out of tune. So it's got it's got the locking tuners on the back too. Okay, bye. I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's a good guitar, I think. So the first thing I notice is it seems like this the pickups on this guitar are a lot more hot. They seem like they have a lot more I hear everything. That's that's the insane thing. Is if I play a chord like I hear that whole thing. That's really cool. Sorry, I just keep wanting to play it. <laughs> Alright, alright. <laughs> 
this this boy right here, this guy right here, this can be pushed in and it adds a, uh, like a 20 decibel gain boost to this guitar. All right, let's go to a different tone here. Let's go to something that's a little bit more clean so that we can really kind of hear it. <laughs> okay, this, this would be just like a clean. And then with a the boost. <laughs> it's really loud. It's really quite a, quite a, uh, a jump which is really good for like if you're doing like some like uh, I mean again I'm gonna if you're doing stuff like that it's really nice to have that boost to you know kind of really kind of get those to kind of get picked up by the amp and everything I'm not I never use pedals like I'm I'm, I'm like shaking this I, I can't even <laughs> I know I'm trying to like hold my composure but like holding a like a guitar this expensive and to have been sent it from Ernie Ball is insane. I don't really like uh, pushing down uh, any pedals while I'm playing because I, I have a really, I have a really hard time separating my brain in general. Uh, that's why I play the guitar and not the drums. Um, it's really nice to, if I need a boost, just it's right there, it's right there. And then of course you've got the piezo system volume, you've got the, uh, you know, the pickup volume and different tones and stuff like that. This pops in and out. Everything, everything is the same as the uh, 2018 model for the most part, except for the pickups. The other thing, the Majesty 2018 has, uh, I mean, first of all, this is gorgeous. Um, not that th that one isn't, but this is a much more like uh, in your face um, body type, which I really, really like. The interesting thing about this, which they changed, it is a very gorgeous guitar. Um, so the Majesty 2018 has a satin back, um, you know, just because it's like, I guess the idea was you don't, you don't really need like a glossy back, but this guitar does have a glossy back, which is really, really cool. So here's where the battery goes in. And then this is where you do all of your changes. So this is the, the mag boost is that, that, that volume, uh, thing that I pushed in, uh, is, uh, that's the mag boost. So you can control exactly how much boost you get from that, from this guy right here. Uh, the piezo, uh, the mag and piezo mix. Um, so that's uh, the the middle thing. How much you want to mix the piezo and that those pickups, and then the piezo treble and then the piezo bass. So, all right. So let's hear the piezo system. Very nice. It's a little bit quieter because we've been used to like the insanely hot pickups. I'm sorry, I'm kind of shaking still. I can't even finger pick. I'm like, I'm so excited about this. I can't, I can't even play the guitar. <laughs> oh my God, it's so cool. But yeah, I love, I love the piezo system. It's so nice. Anyway, sorry, I'm a mess. I'm a wreck. <laughs> Let's rip it up. <laughs> All right, gets my stamp of approval. I can do dive bombs. <laughs> it's all I ever do anyway. That sounds so good. See, I was stays in tune after that. Yeah, that's good, man. So good, man. I love it. Like. <sighs> Trying to explain playing like a guitar like this, like I'll be honest, at first when I played a, a like a, a a Majesty, I thought they were too small. I thought they were a little bit too slippy. You know, they they were almost just like I was just like whoa. Like anytime that I would ever try to do like uh, a slide or anything, it was uh, it was hard for me to control because I'm so used to more rigid, um, even not like rigid, like like uh, next like Schecter. So the best way for me to describe what it's like to play a Music Man Majesty neck, 
Um, so imagine playing like a Jackson guitar and then imagine playing like an Ibanez guitar and then a Schecter guitar. And you notice how those fretboards kind of get softer over time. Like the Jackson is just like this rigid, like boxy frets. And then the Ibanez is kind of like in the middle of that and the Schecter, which the Schecter is like these smooth, uh, you know, again, very slidey. And then like here you have like Jackson, or like I'll do it reverse. So Jackson, Ibanez, Schecter, Music Man. It's so smooth, it's so slidey that it's almost like it's jarring to kind of jump to a neck like this. Um, but once you get used to it, it actually just at, like, it completely gets out of your way. Like, like it's, uh, that's the way that John Petrucci has always talked about the majesty is that it, um, it stays out of your way. Every fret is extremely accessible, like extremely accessible. The, uh, this part right here of the body just is not in your way whatsoever. And it sits on your lap nice and comfortably and you can hit this 12th fret with any finger you want and it's really really cool it's so crispy like the like and like somebody said that the lead sounds so crispy like a uh, mountain drew like it's 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 true it's like when i play these leads they sound a little bit more like um sizzled you know that like but not in like a clippy way it's it's, it's strange because like you would think with like uh such an increased uh input that it would be like clipping really hard, but it, maybe it is clipping, but like just in a right way where it, it makes those leads just sizzle. I don't know, man. Can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear it over like stream audio, but man. It's so cool, dude. It's so cool. Uh, yeah, it does give my leads a lot more sustain. So one thing that I noticed with the Majesty... Dude, that lasts way longer than the other Majesty. Oh man, that's that's really, really nice. Those, uh, like, harmonics, they happen so easily. Like, like... It's... Those are... Okay, those were kind of hard, but... <laughs> These harmonics are really hard to hit, and they're so easy. So, uh, for example, in the Pokemon medley, um, I have to do this one section where I have to do harmonics that exceed the uh, the range of the guitar. So I have to hit that, which I can hit here, but... It's so easy now. <laughs> it's so easy. That's so cool. Dude, that's really really fun. <laughs> oh my god, like can you see my hands right now? I'm I'm trying to play this with my hands shaking like this. Like <laughs> you want a good antidepressant? Buy a majesty. <laughs> I'm so happy. I would be a horrible guitar reviewer because they'd send me they'd send me a guitar and I'd be like, it's so pretty, and be like, alright, I'm gonna play you guys this guitar. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be every every review I ever do. Every review ever. Thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, definitely check out Music Man if you've got uh, if if you've got a love for like the best guitars on the market. If if you want if you want like the best you can get, uh, I highly recommend this guitar right here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.